Hi there everybody, my name is Max. I'm an application engineer here at UMAX and today I'm joined by Johnny from Shining 3D. Hello everyone, this is Johnny from Shining 3D. It's my honor to be here to take this video shot with Max together. So what are we going to scan today? So uh, today we're going to be scanning a couple objects. Uh, we're going to be showing you the whole process of scanning objects and bringing them into GeoMagic and Solid Edge for reverse engineering. Okay, without further ado, let's just scan let's, this part Let's first. get into it, yeah. Yeah, sure. First, we're going to put some markers on our subject. And then we're going to use a manually operated turntable, or a lazy Susan, with markers on it in order to rotate our object while scanning while easily maintaining tracking. For reverse engineering, we're going to need very high accuracy, so we'll be using the laser scanning mode to scan our subject. We're going to hold the scanner mostly still as we rotate the Lazy Susan and scan our object from all angles. Johnny quickly sets up a cutting plane in order to get rid of any data scanned from the turntable itself. Now as we scan, we will get minimal garbage data. When we're done, we'll flip the object to get the other side. We will need to make a new project group for this part, because we are using stationary markers which are not attached to the object. We'll repeat what we did before, and once that is done, we'll try to align the parts together. However, it will prove difficult, because we need more common data in order to align them accurately. So, we set up for a new position. We'll make another project group, and we'll position our subject ideally to get the data we need. However, because of the round shape of the subject, we'll need to secure it to the turntable with some blue tack. This will prevent it from rolling around while scanning. After our third and final part is done, we can align all the project groups together and finally mesh. Our mesh settings will include no smoothing, filters, or any other such modifications. For reverse engineering, we want the most true-to-life scan data, even if it's not as pretty. Now let's start the reverse engineering process. First, we will align our object to the world in GeoMagic. Here we are determining where the origin point of the object should be, and then using that to center the object. Then we will import the data into Solid Edge as an STL. In Solid Edge, we will start building a 2D cross section of the shapes that make up the object and also make measurements. Then we'll clean up those shapes. The shape is then extruded to create an ideal version of our 3D mesh that we created in the scanning software. We will repeat this process for the other parts of the object until the reverse engineering is complete. After all the shapes of the object have been recreated, we're going to do a few touch-ups. 
we'll round out a few edges and then we'll be done. Thanks for watching our demo and we'll see you next time.